Hey you guys, you passed late here. So you guys have been asking me um, how I care for my kid's hair, what do I do to treat it, etc., etc. So that's what I'll be showing you today. So as you can see, I am taking some twists on any heads and ponytails. I'm also checking his scalp for any flakes and just to make sure that um, he doesn't have anything going on. Um, what I do here is I add some oil to the roots of his hair all the way down the hair shaft and this is how I pretty much like dry detangle and break through the product that was used when I was styling his hair um, and he's actually asleep you can't really tell but he's asleep right here so that just lets you know that he's not in any kind of pain um, I do this instead of water because his hair is very thick and water just doesn't have the same slip as oil does for me so that's why I use that this is just me separating, making sure that I get every section of his hair. Like I said, he sleep. That's the amount of shedding that he had, taking them down. Those twists were in for about three weeks. Um, I washed his hair with the Apogee Keratin and Green Tea Shampoo. It also doubles as like a clarifying treatment, but it's very moisturizing. So it doesn't dry the hair out, but it does get rid of all the product buildup. I also went behind that with the African Pride shampoo and that one has um, a bunch of good like moisturizing properties so his hair is very soft very manageable and as you see i finger detangle in the process and then you see me rinsing it again i'm going to go through with their conditioner and this has a really good slip and it smells like chocolate which i like and um i love my cosmology brush it is really good with detangling, and I love that the prongs on the brush are really long. I also like at the end of the brush, you can see that there's a parting section. Here, he's getting his scalp massage. This obviously stimulates the scalp, gets the product all the way through his hair, and then um, we're going to rinse. If I had a uh, shower cap, I would have I would have deep conditioned. Here, I'm using the uh, Cantu, two Cantu leave-ins and the Old School Hass Placenta. I am adding those in, detangling each section and adding product as I go and twisting his hair. To which here, what I'll be doing is I'm gonna put him under the dryer before I actually blow dry his hair out. And I hit his roots with um, some Miel uh, White Peony leave-in. And then once he's done, I am gonna hit his hair with the comb attachment. This just blows it out, but the blood, the hooded dryer speeds up that blow drying process. It did take him a little while to get used to the dryer. The only time his hair gets blow dried is when he's at work with me. Otherwise, there's no heat on his hair. I usually just twist it up and let it air dry. So that's what we're doing here. We ended up um, braiding it up later on, but he wore a puff for like a day or two. But that's pretty much it. Oh, and another thing is he definitely got a trim today. This is his first trim um, since he's been born. Um, but I did notice that as I was twisting his hair up, his ends were breaking. And so I did go ahead and trim. Um, the way to kind of know is like when you do like the little, when you're twisting your hair and you do the little ringlet at the end, if that ringlet breaks off, it's time for a trim. Because further break would, would just make your hair shorter. And that's it. Any questions, leave in the comments.